Andres Munifasha College is a beacon of success for individuals throughout the region. It is committed to provide successful professionals from generations to generations. We are the epitome of the three I's, which stands for Industry, Integrity, and Intelligence. Industry, striving and working hard, not only because it's good, but it is a gateway towards change. Integrity, doing what is right, for we have principles to live by, our full honesty and transparency. And intelligence, we uphold the highest standards of education. Not just in books, but to handle the people around us professionally. Proudly uplifting the banner of the Senior High School Department. intelligence, industry, and integrity, but also we are foreseeing and embracing heart, compassion, and mercy because we are foreseeing the future leaders of today and of tomorrow. So we are the future leaders. We are not cultivating the passion to lead, but we are cultivating that serving is not by obligation, but by heart. Class 2020 makes history around the globe. In the middle of unforeseen crisis, virtual graduation has to be the option to give commendation to the graduates' scholastic effort and achievement. Today, in Dras Bonifacio College, March 3rd commencement exercises. We are separated at this moment of celebration Yet, we celebrate the community spirit, especially to the beloved parents, guardians, along with their families, as we come together virtually to honor the graduates of Class 2020. I am then privileged to present to you the first online graduation ceremony of the senior high school students of the Andres. Bonifacio College. Let us unite our hearts in prayer and in trust to the hands of the Lord. Gracious and loving God, we ask now for your almighty hand to be upon us as we and our families celebrate this grand milestone. 
for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope in the future. Jeremiah 29, 11. God of joy and hope, we thank you for this time of graduation. Your spirit of wisdom has empowered our hard work and discipline in such a way that our hunger for learning has been nourished with knowledge, discovery, creativity, and determination. In gratitude, we pray for our families and many others who have sacrificed and worked to see us to this hopeful moment. In gratitude, we pray for the faculty and staff of Indras Bonifacio College who have challenged, cared, and crafted us along this academic journey. In gratitude, we pray for the fellow students who have taught us more about friendship, collaboration, and sharing. Our world is currently anxious, fearful, and uncertain. We pray that you will grant us good health and well-being in these days of COVID-19. We pray for protection, for your covering, that you would surround our lives as with a shield. Protect our coming and going. We ask that you would help us to live aware in a dark world and keep harm or evil intent far away. We ask that you would hide us in the safety of your powerful presence. We pray that you would give us boldness and courage to face challenges set before us with confidence and peace that can come only from your spirit. Allow us to persevere in these quickly changing and stressful times. All this we pray in the academic pursuit of truth and knowledge. Be a lamp for our feet and a light to our path. Shine over us. Fill us with your spirit. Bless us with your favor and peace. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Oh, 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 oh,
graduation is one of the significant and the best days in the lives of the students. It is a very special moment which makes parents, relatives and friends look forward to with so much excitement. Seeing the graduates in the processional march gives so much pride to the parents and the exhilarating feeling of fulfillment in the diploma handoffs. These are just two of the most awaited highlight in a commencement exercises. But to the class of 2020, this is a bittersweet time to embrace, for it isn't the day we have envisioned. The graduation day has become a commencement of great uncertainty with the presence of coronavirus. We feel like our accomplishments are somewhat incomplete because we didn't get our time to dress up, wear our togas, and get our diploma on stage with a resounding applause from everyone in the gathering. To recall, we set our feet in the solid grounds of Andres Bonifacio College 24 months ago. Excitement was overwhelming. Still, the fear of what lies ahead was evidently felt. Two years then unfolded with seemingly insurmountable trials, hardships, and challenges. Today, I can say we have conquered our fears, defy all odds, and have risen from our failures. Whether or not we had a graduation ceremony, we totally have earned our diplomas. Nobody can take that away from us. Note that we weren't ready for this. We weren't expecting this. This is not an ideal situation to be in for anyone. But look into ourselves. Look into what we have done. And look to what we are about to do. Those next steps are going to determine the rest of our lives. So, have goals and dreams, but be adaptable. Congratulations, Class of 2020! We did it! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the virtual graduation of the Andres Bonifacio College Senior High School. Mabuhay! I could have another anamnesis moment of what have happened for the past two years. I could also still look back more than 400 days ago when we first walked through the gates of this college mustering our trifled courage. More than that, I could have pondered too how the 30th day of March would have left a special mark in the hearts of the graduates of class 2020. As much as I want how all my sentiments and predilections during my two year stay in AB College to be heard, I want to think instead of what lies ahead while keeping it short. What lies beyond the questions, who would I become in the next few years? What does it take to become someone I would be proud of? What are the learnings I must not forget so that my future self will thank me for? Well, the answers to these questions also lie to these three answers. First, find a dream that you want to live for. Seek happiness in what you are doing. It pays not to be anxious about the results because nothing compares the joy you get with what you do. Do not settle low when you aspire big. Don't settle for mediocrity when you could still set the bars high. Do not trade your future for something which do not make you dare to live for today. Second, acknowledge failures. It is possible to fail while doing the best that you can. The reason why we quit after failing is because of fear. We fear of repeating the same mistake again and that is why we get no room for improvements. However, during my stay in AB College, I have learned that feeling negative sometimes is okay. 
It makes us to reevaluate things and helps us to think how to be better next time. Because what truly counts is how we get back up despite the fear. Lastly, never stop praying. With strong faith, everything flows in an exquisite and sublime plan. Prayers can really get you to peaks of life you never expected to reach. We hold nothing for future, so it is important to trust God when struggles and redirections come our way. Truth be told, we could not be successful on our own. We owe it to our parents and family, teachers, classmates, friends, and to all those who have been with us throughout. With this, we thank our beloved parents and family members for the unending love and support, especially to my mama, papa, and bintoy, for being my true foundation of who I have become today. To all our senior high school teachers, accept our well-deserved kudos for your dedication, caring, expertise, and for the life-affirming legacies in the lives you touch. To my classmates and schoolmates, this scholarly adventure in our senior high school journey could haven't been that memorable and prolific in the absence of your company in learning and making school works and projects. To the AB College administration and staff, we are deeply grateful providing us the quality education you have envisioned and afforded. To our Almighty Father, the author and giver of life and blessings, we give you back all the glory and praises. In behalf of Class 2020, maraming salamat po sa lahat. Congratulations, Class of 2020! Long live Andres Bonifacio College! Allow me to present the graduates according to their strand. The Accountancy, Business, and Management The Humanities and Social Sciences
the science, technology, engineering and mathematics.
Physical Vocational Livelihood Track and Information Communication Technology Strand. As graduates of Andres Bonifacio College, we solemnly pledge to strive to be worthy of all those who have sacrificed for us, our parents, our teachers, and the school administration. We shall always keep ourselves physically strong, mentally awake, and morally upright in order to make this world the best place to live in. We shall always uphold the honor of our dear alma mater to be respectful and loving to our parents and to be ever loyal to our school and country next to God. Strong and confident, long live Andres Bonifacio.